Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has basically not really given us any surprises since yesterday. It reacted where it needed to react and we might be working on this small B wave now. We talked about that in, in yesterday's video, so we'll, we'll talk about that now. Um, the overall situation on this chart is that we could still be in this wave 4 correction in wave 4, in, wave four um, in the white count. Okay, so we talked about this complex corrective WXY structure before. And yeah, let's talk about short-term bearish and short-term bullish options and scenarios. The short-term bearish scenario on this chart is the white scenario, the white wave count. In this scenario, we have completed a wave W we have completed a wave X. Each of these waves are part of a correction and each of these consists of ABC structures. So we've completed those and then we started the Y wave down in which we completed already the A wave element. The B wave might currently be in the process of being completed and then one more low is still likely. Okay, And that one more low could send us down here towards 55, 54K. In this scenario, to make it likely or to, let's say, put it clearly in control, we need to see a break below $58,360. That's very important because that's the 78.6 retracement of the rally that started on the 1st of May on the Wednesday. The thing is that this is a structure um, that could play out easily because the downside here that microstructure was a little bit unclear. This was only a three wave move down. So I cannot clearly say that we've bottomed because it doesn't give me much confidence. You know, had we said, okay, maybe, maybe, you know, we, we already completed like, let me show you that to you. Um, it's possible that we completed WXY here. And then this was an ABC, but the C wave was not a five wave move and the C wave should be a five wave move. So I have that unreliable bottoming structure, cannot really rely on it. I think that's the thing, you know, I can't, it is possible that it, that we've bottomed there, but I cannot rely on it. And because I cannot rely on it, I can't confirm it to you and we need just additional evidence. And what that evidence is, well, we talk about that every day in the videos, okay? So that's very important. Um, that means what we need to be watching for now is the support area, the micro support area, because in the short term bullish count that takes us to the, yeah, to the more bullish structure, um, which is possible, right? I mean, of course, it's possible that we've bottomed here. There are structures that allow that like a WXY and then within the Y wave, another WXY, but these are very exotic patterns that of course, could happen, they could occur, but you know, they, they are just not so common. So you can't rely on them. But the thing is, I consider it because we've already dipped into our support zone, trend reversal the, uh, zone, we want the price to reverse here, right, in this area. So this area hasn't changed for one and a half months, two months nearly. The narrative hasn't changed that this is a correction within an overall bullish structure and that we're simply watching for a reaction in the support zone to basically, yeah, um, to basically say that we've completed this correction. But if the downside structure is sort of incomplete, at least on the micro, then we would need to see a little bit more evidence that we've indeed bottomed. And that would be a so-called one, two setup. Before we dive into the microstructure, today at 5 p.m. UTC, we've got um, a public, a mem uh, not a public member live stream. That doesn't make any sense. No, a public live stream. So feel free to check it out. I posted that earlier and the link uh, on X. So first of all, feel free to follow us on X, but also here you can find the link for later at 5 p.m. UTC. We're going to take a look at different charts, take a look at requests. Um, we do cover, we do collect the member requests on Discord. So we'll uh, focus on a lot of them, but I'll also take a few from the chat. And yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, not much going on in crypto at the moment, but Still, I think now is the time to prepare, right, for the next bigger move. And therefore, I thought, look, we haven't done we haven't done a um, public live stream in a while, so it makes sense to um, to do it because when it's getting too busy out there, you know, I'll I'll not be able to to catch up, and uh, you know, I'll be so immersed in the charts that I probably won't have time for a for a public live stream. So that's the time now. Feel free to check it out and join us. 
later. Okay, so let's zoom in to the detailed structure. Maybe even let's go to the 30 minute chart here. This is now interesting because um, as you can see, we have a five wave move up into from, from the May low, from the 1st of May low to the Monday high. So yesterday I mentioned to you that here would be an ideal spot to start a pullback. Okay, that happened. So five waves up is not enough to say that we've really bottomed in this overall correction. Why? Because this move up could be either a C wave of a larger B wave in the white count. Okay, so that's basically um, within the short term bearish count. And they wouldn't, you know, we want to see also in the C wave a five wave move up. So that's absolutely nothing unusual in any way. Okay, so therefore that's not enough to confirm that we've bottomed. We need the three wave pullback. We need it to hold a higher low because that would not necessarily fit into the white structure. We want them, we want the bulls ideally to take the price back into the support region but hold a higher low and then escalate. That's the yellow count and in that count we have five waves up. We consider that wave one of the next uptrend. This here could be an ABC pullback. Yesterday we talked about okay this is an ideal spot to start a B wave rally or to finish the A wave. Um, did that okay started that and this could now be a B wave rally. Looks very weak which is great because that's typically what we want to see to get a reliable pattern. Ideally, we would now at some point see a C wave down. At the moment, there is a small reaction to the micro resistance area I communicated earlier today. It's between 64,170 and 64,990. This is only offering some guidance because B waves tend to overshoot resistance areas. So if it goes above, it doesn't even mean it wouldn't be a B wave. It could be, it's just a strong B wave then. Um, but yeah, bottom line is now I'm watching for possibly the um, let's say I'm on high alert for a C wave down. That's probably how to put it. Can't confirm the C wave has started, but from here um, a move down appears likely and then we have a nice five up three down move. And if it finds support here, yeah, great. Um, if we push higher, maybe to around about 66,700, I would see that primarily as an extension of that five wave move that started here on the 1st of May, because we haven't come down deep enough to call that a wave two. So we'd likely just see one more extension. That move down was also not deep enough to rule out that this was just an extended fourth wave, not here, but here, uh, and that we are now getting one more extension, but that's not predictable. It would just be one more high, would maybe go a little higher than a B wave would normally do. So that's sort of what I'm watching for today. Parameters should be clear, support resistances, and it takes a break below 62,930 to confirm that this C wave to the downside has started. That's my update about um, Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.